Hi there and hello everybody, it's Manisha and I am the artist and creator at Teacup Girl. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have the promised collection showcase and reveal video for you. We are taking a look at the Sea Stars collection, which is actually coming out on Sunday, the 28th of August at 6.30 Sydney time. And all of the collection there is actually going to be available for pre-order. So you don't have to stress too much about things selling out super quickly because they will be up for a while. So with that being said, why don't we just dive right into the collection and take a look at the new pieces that we've been working on. So the very first piece that I want to show you is the Axolotl. Now the Axolotl was a bit of a random design, I'm going to be honest. I had actually almost finished designing the entirety of the collection when my children bought a Lego set that had Minecraft axolotls in it of all things and then I think there was a Minecraft axolotl game thing that they were playing and I just had axolotls on the brain I was like these are so cute I really want to do something with these I want to design my own so that's why we have this cutie right here now I actually really love him and I'm going to say about this about all the pieces I'm sorry I'm a broken record I'm going to say it over and over again that I love these pieces because I've been having so much fun designing this collection but that's by the by. So let's get back to looking at this cutie. He's got a galaxy on his back with a little iridescent moon. And I think his little freckles on his face with his big wide grin is just like so cute. So I really love the axolotl and how he turned out. He's got his little fluffies and his little see-through tail. And he's quite thin. So I'll show you this side profile. He's a nice thin piece. I'll show you the back as well. I haven't put any pins on these ones, but you can see where the pin will go. And that's the back. And he will have a lovely blue marble. It hasn't been peeled yet. It's still masked, but he will have a lovely blue back as well. So he's just really cute. Next in our collection, we have Stella Star Squid. And she's the first piece that I showed off of this collection. And like, I had a lot of really good feedback about her. I think everybody kind of loves how sweet she is. I am digging the pink acrylics that I was able to use in this piece. The combination of the rosy sparkle swirl and this candy pearlescent color is just delicious. It's to die for. And the really pretty glitters in this planet. Oh my gosh, I've been wanting to use this particular glitter acrylic for a while, but it's really hard sometimes to figure out where to put these special acrylics because they have such a specific look to them. And you really need to find the perfect, perfect piece to show them off. And I think this planet design does that pretty well. So I'm really happy with her. Again, her side profile is quite slim. She's not a chunky piece at all. And she's got her free hanging dangle planet on a star. So she is really cute. And she's just got that plain white background. We love her. Up next is the sunset whale. Now... I love this one. I really, really like my whale collection, my Starship Whales, and I had this idea for like a sunset variation on those colors, and I was just waiting for the right acrylics to come along, and I really think that this Chili Glimmer red up the top is the perfect acrylic. I did have a few little clouds in the design, but after looking at it, I decided I didn't like them, so I took them out because I really want the glimmer to be like the streaks of clouds in the sky. So we just have his cute little golden sun and then a few stars appearing because it's getting to be nighttime. And I think the Starship Whale is a lovely piece. Again, slim profile, and that's the back. Very nice little size, as you can see. It's just a cute piece overall. Next up, we have <laughs> the teeny tiny cosmic crab. He's inspired by the hermit crabs that used to come into our swimming pool when we lived in Thailand. We had an infinity pool that had like that drainage ditch at the end and we'd get the hermit crabs scuttling up from the beach over our grass and then they'd plop into the infinity pool ditch and we had to rescue them because of course they couldn't get out again. But they were always so grateful. They would scuttle away as fast as their little legs could carry them as soon as we took them out and popped them on the beach. And so he was really inspired by that memory, the brilliant colours of the hermit crab. Again, he's just off in space with his little galaxy and a big sun star at the bottom. 
I really liked how the clouds turned out in this piece actually. So he has got the clouds in his design and these little silver ones here are like limpets, but kind of think like asteroid moon limpets, like an asteroid crash into his shell or it's like a moon that's floating around. So that's kind of like the whole story that I've got going on there. He's a little bit of a special fellow. He also features the chili glimmer again, and I just am in love with the red and the golds in this. It's just a really, really pretty acrylic, and I think he's definitely super cute. He is on the smaller side, as you can see, very fine details. That's the back. It's going to be white. It just hasn't been peeled yet. And he is quite a small piece, as you can see, comparatively. Mm -hmm. But I think he's really cute and definitely worth it. He will be great addition to any of your other sea creatures that you want to add. You could even add him with like some astronauts or some of the Earth Father space pieces because I think it would be really cute if like this little space crab was calling through space and came across an astronaut and the astronaut thought he was friendly and stuff. I don't know. That's just kind of like the stories that I make up in my mind while I'm making these pieces. I kind of like end up going to like this whole different world of imagination where these creatures actually like exist. <laughs> It's kind of fun and it keeps me busy while I'm like doing all the tedious work of painting and peeling and stuff. Next up we have our little Octohogs. Yes, this is a shaker piece. Oh, I love him so much. <laughs> so, so cute. I really, really am adoring this. We've got a honeycomb glimmer in this one. So as you can see, the glimmers and the sparkle and the marbles are like they're very much present in this collection. I've gone all out hand with the glitter. I've just been really enjoying using it after doing several collections in a row that were quite muted and earthy tones. We've gone for something like really vibrant and fun and fresh with this collection. It's like pop, 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 loads of color, loads of sparkle, as you can tell. Now his little Octo bottle, it has a shaker in it. It's got glitters in it. Like all those pieces rattle around and move around. There are a couple of pearls glued on the back of the bottle just to keep some interest for when you're wearing it because I thought it wouldn't be fun if you've got like this awesome shaker but like all the pretty stuff settles in the bottom and then you just got the plain bottle. So I tried to add a little bit of interest going floating up the bottle so that it looks pretty when you're wearing it or when you're shaking it about or whatever you want to do. So this is the little Octo Hogs and he is based off a Dumbo octopus which I believe is a fairly new discovery very deep in the ocean. And when I saw some photos of it, I knew that I would have to design a brooch one day based off the octopus. And sure enough, here we are. Second to last, we have our lovely seahorse. Now, this little one was another last minute addition. My staff member, Justine, was telling me how her daughter was asking if there'd be a seahorse. And I was like, oh, no, I hadn't thought of doing a seahorse, which is a bit weird because I actually adore seahorses. And I'd also been trying to find a place for this glitter to be used because I was like, I'm obsessed with this glitter. It's perfect for the Sea Stars collection, but I don't have a design for it. What am I going to do? And so I just, somebody suggested seaweed would be a great use of this glitter. And I went, yes. And then there was a question about the seahorses and the two just came together in my mind, like bada bing, bada boom. We need a glitter seaweed with a little seahorse floating in it. And this is what we got. Now, this piece is really cute. I love it so much. The seahorse actually glows in the dark. OMG, it's amazing. It's so cute. <laughs> and I really like also the dangle at the bottom just to add a little bit of sparkle and interest. This is like a really cute glass cracked bead. It's like got this crackle effect in it. So it's really like sparkly and glittery as well. And we've got another little stars. So. This is just our sweet little seahorse. I haven't decided what to call this piece yet, but I love it. And I'm going to say they're all my favorite, but like this one's my favorite as well. So <laughs> now the last brooch in this collection is a little bit different. The vibes of this one kind of doesn't really fit the sea stars, galaxy sea creature theme so well. But I've had this piece in my mind and in my sketchbook for years now. I think I drew it like two years ago or something like that. I'm not even sure how long it's been around. But it's been in the back of my head as something that I want to do for a while. So I thought, okay, it doesn't quite fit with the vibe of this collection, but I like it enough to add it in. So we have our Lighthouse Cameo brooch. 
Now, this line was really fun to design and come up with too. It presented a different challenge to the other pieces that I'd been designing. And so I really enjoyed just like doing something that's got like, I suppose a bit more of a calmer vibe than like all our bright pops of color and loads of glitter. It's like a calm lighthouse on a sunny day and you're just walking along the beach and enjoying the fresh air and you just see this lighthouse out in the distance and it's just standing strong and tall and proud and you know it's going to be there come the foul weather or fair and it's just a really nice piece that I felt really encapsulates those sunny days on the beach and that's what I was going for so I really like our lighthouse cameo piece there's loads of little details and interest in this one it's got like this little like platform that this lighthouse is built on we've got the little doorway entrance we've got the rocks and the waves coming up and some seagulls in the sky as well as obviously your fluffy clouds because you have to have fluffy clouds if you're at the beach it's just necessary and then the thing I really like about this piece as well is the mirror in the back of the lighthouse just makes it look like it's actually got like those lighthouse windows and lights shining inside so yeah this piece I really love and I hope you like it too that's not all to the collection there are a few more pieces that I still have to show you obviously we need some matching earrings so these ones are the planetarium earrings that go along with stellar star squid and they've just got the same planet design that's hanging off her and the little stars to match they're a little bit bigger than her planets so they're like going to be a slightly larger design but i thought that would show up a little bit better so that's what we're going for for the earrings and to match the earrings we have a cute little planet pin now this little pin it's tiny it is very very small because I wanted it to be like a true mini brooch pin size so that's the size of the planet pin and I like this being so small because I feel like it means that you can add it with other pieces really easily like you know your axolotls in space and he's got a little planet that he's swimming past things like that so I really did deliberately go for a very small size for this and I really like how it turned out. And again, this glitter is just luscious. It's got like purple stars and pink stars and white love hearts and pink love hearts. It's just got all this really, really cool stuff in it. There's a lot of, a lot of interest in this particular acrylic. So I think it works really well for those designs. Next up, we have shaker bottle earrings to match our octopus. <laughs> it took me a little while to figure out exactly how to make these bottles work so that they would have the right effect of being a bottle without having any of the hardware showing in them. I wanted them to match the octopus. So there were a few little things that I had to figure out and actually kind of broke my brain for a little bit because it was a bit of work. But I'm so happy with how these came out. Like, seriously, they're so cool. And they shake and they sparkle and I just think they're going to be a really, really, really pretty addition to any wardrobe. I feel like they're just really cute. I love the mermaid treasure vibe that these treasure bottles have. I just think it's perfect and it's going to go with so many fantasy themes and things. So I think that these bottles are just adorable. I love them very much. Last but definitely not least. For this particular release, we actually also happen to have an exclusive piece. Now, this is a kind of mini pin slash brooch. As you can see, the bow has a pin across the back and then hanging from that gold bow is the treasure bottle. And this piece is only available if you purchase the entire Sea Stars collection. Now, when I say entire, I'm talking about brooches only that's the seven brooches in the sea stars collection and then when you purchase all seven of them you also get this limited edition exclusive treasure bottle brooch for free so this is an exclusive piece that only comes when you purchase all of those pieces and i hope that you guys like this little one i love it because again i mean it's a shake 
I, I could sit here seriously and just fiddle with these on my desk like all day. I'm like just picking them off and shaking them all the time. So as you can imagine, we're having an absolute blast in the studio making these pieces. And actually there's a little teeny tiny bit of squabbling in the studio over who's going to fill these bottles with all the sparkly bits because honestly, we all enjoy a little bit of sparkle. So it's a lot of fun making these pieces and I just am loving how this collection turned out and I really hope that you enjoy it too. Anyway, that is it for now. I hope that you liked having a closer look at all of the Sea Star pieces. And if you like, you can let me know below which one is your favorite and what one you're most looking forward to. I think that this collection is a really, really fun one and it's gonna be awesome to see all these beautiful pieces go to their new homes. So thank you so much for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate that. Don't forget, you can always leave a like and a thumbs up or click the link and subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know when our next videos are coming out but that is all from me so i'll keep it short and sweet and say bye see bye for now see you in the next one car is coming in so i have to pause la, 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 just waiting just waiting just waiting i don't have to cut the stairs out next time do you love my nails i love my nails i got them painted especially for the occasion to match the Sea Stars collection, and I'm kind of like obsessed with the pastel colors, so <laughs> they're really fun. Mm -hmm.